Okay, another question has come in. Lots of questions coming in. Um, so we'll, we'll take them one at a time. How do we derive the right quantity of refrigerant charge for a refrigeration system? Um, ooh, yeah, that's a, a, a very good question. Um, charge is an interesting discussion. And uh, I'll just clean that off there. Um, when we talk about refrigerant charge, basically, you can estimate your charge of your system, and you can estimate that by the length of the uh, liquid line, the size of that liquid line. Um, that will give you a, uh, a, a base quantity, if you like, then also take the volume of your receiver, and that will give you a indication of the amount of refrigerant that you will need in that system. Basically, and um, this goes back to the way I was taught when I was uh, much, much younger, when I was on the tools, is that you have a, you charge a system to a full sight glass, which is, I would say, still the, the best way to make sure that you are there or thereabouts. But then you also need to make sure your suction pressure and your suction temperature, discharge temperature, discharge pressure is where it should be. Now, there, there is a uh, very good tool that we have within Danfoss and I'll just share my screen uh, in a moment and I'll show you but I just need to load something up so I'll just stop showing my screen a second and I'll just load up Danfoss call selector software which will um, which basically gives you a good indication of the pressures and temperatures that you should see around a system so let's just load that up on the other screen a second and I'll show you basically what that would look like. So if we go to that one there, okay, let's share the screen again and let's put that one on the screen. So hopefully you can all see that on the screen now. So this is Danfoss Cool Selector software, um, totally free. So uh, please go to Danfoss Cool Selector. Uh, and let's just click later on that one. So this is a condensing unit selection. Um, you can also do it on the compressor selection as well. And if you put in your system information, your refrigerant information, etc., cetera, um, I'll just choose uh, 449, for example. Um, so we've got our cooling capacity, our evaporating temperature, uh, ambient temperature, things like that. And basically what Cool Selector does is it gives you the uh, pH diagram, which is uh, all well and good, but then it also gives you a nice pictorial system uh, picture of your refrigeration system. And then on the left-hand side here, it gives us a description of the points. So we've got compressor suction as point one, compressor discharge as point two, and it will tell you your temperature and pressure that you would expect on that system given the evaporating temperature and the ambient temperature. So this is a very good way to double check on site when you're commissioning a system is to make sure that your suction pressure, discharge temperature, um, liquid temperature, etc., is there or thereabouts where it should be. So yeah, it's something that I use quite a bit when I'm on site with condensing units just to double check that it is what it, uh, what it is. So yeah, that's Danfoss Cool Selector software. So I hope that answers that one.